دارم و میدی دارم و میدی Women have long had a place in Iran's rich musical tradition. But for more than 30 years, female singers in Tehran and beyond have been forbidden from singing solo or performing to a mixed audience, with even group performances to all women audiences closely monitored. But despite the ban, which was initiated by clergy after the Islamic Revolution in 1979, many people used smuggled videos or satellite television to listen to expatriate Iranian singers many of whom have now fled abroad. With the victory of a more centrist president, Hassan Rouhani, in Iran's presidential election in June, many Iranians involved in the arts have been hopeful for an end to the restrictions on female performances. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the country's supreme leader and decision-maker, has not completely ruled out women singing solo saying that women can sing to a mixed crowd provided, as his religious decree states, no sins are committed. No one expects an early solution. But women singers such as this group, Jivar Music Band, are happy that the issue is at least being publicly discussed. The band's lead singer, Jivar Sheikh al-Islami, believes accepting to sing to a female-only audience is a form of resistance. این زیبایی رو این نجابت و این منش و از یک زن نگیریم و بذاریم مثل کشورهای مسلمان دیگه یک زن بتونه خودش رو نشون بده بتونه کنسرت بده با نظارت خود ایران یعنی تو همون غالبه که اسلام گفته سهران دیدی However, محسا وحدت a prominent mystic music singer believes she cannot go along with such censorship. She lives in Tehran, but sings outside Iran. Other singers have given up and have joined male bands, sometimes even singing alongside men. Despite their different responses to censorship, female singers hope the new authorities' more moderate approach to politics will extend into the cultural sphere. Najme Bozogmer, Financial Times, Tehran. Oh,